I'm going to clean the lost palace. Does it matter which power wash tool and nozzle I use? Let's find out. I'm starting with the Prime Vista 1500. It's a light duty power washer. I'll use the standard yellow nozzle first, then the higher powered red nozzle. This is the first tool unlocked in the power wash simulator game. As you can see, it's not going very well. Look at all those barnacles left on the palace wall. Changing over to the red nozzle. It has a more narrow and more concentrated stream than the yellow one. With a lot of effort, it's removing a few of the barnacles. It's never going to get the whole job done, though. The range and strength of this power washer is way too small. Let's move on to the next one. The next level up is the Urban X. It's a medium duty power washer and the first one you have to buy from the PWS shop. It's unlocked at 15 starts and costs $900. But is it suitable for this job? Let's find out. You know what? I don't think this washer is even as good as the light duty one. I'd give it a big miss. It's not worth the $900. Let's give the red nozzle a chance. Even the red nozzle isn't shifting the barnacles or dirt. It's certainly not suitable for cleaning the lost palace. We're going to have to upgrade again. Okay. This one is the PV3000 washer. It's a heavy duty tool that is unlocked when you hit 40 stars in the game. It costs $2,000. Let's see how it goes. This one is definitely better, but still not fantastic. We'll give the red nozzle a go before making a decision. I suppose, if you were into the ASMR scene and had three days to finish one map, you might make do with this washer. Personally, I like to actually enjoy the game, so I'll upgrade again. Being the end of the game, I had all the washers and all the accessories at this time, so why not use the best of the best? Let's move on.
Now for the big daddy of the power wash guns. This is the Prime Vista Pro. It's a professional duty washer and it's unlocked when you reach 90 stars and it'll set you back a mere $5,000. Quality doesn't come cheap. With a bit of elbow grease, this washer will definitely get the Lost Palace clean with both the yellow and the red nozzles. It won't be a walk in the park, but it's absolutely doable. The range and the strength of the nozzles, using this washer are the pretty fantastic, compared to the previous guns. The red nozzle is great for cleaning up any fiddly bits or stubborn stains. If you want to go super professional with extreme cleaning power, lash out on the three-pronged nozzle. This beauty is unlocked after the ancient statue level is completed, and it costs a whopping $2,400. It's absolutely worth it though. It will cut your cleaning time and effort in half, and it has a phenomenal range. Ouch! Who put that there? You have to watch where you walk here. People leave their stuff all over the joint. When you finish the game, I strongly recommend that you go back through free play and try the other levels with this nozzle. It feels like cheating, but the earlier levels are a piece of cake with this nozzle. The Helter Skelter, Mining Drill and Subway Platform are an absolute joy, using this nozzle. It's not for the ASMR lovers, but it's perfect for those of us who love seeing the dirt stripped away. Let's put this thing through its paces.
So there you go. What did you think? For new players, I hope this guide was helpful. For power wash aficionados, let me know which equipment is your favorite.